the Joe Rogan experience. Star is Born was something that when I first read it, I called her and I said, I read this thing. She said, you schmuck, it's been made three times before. And she hung up the phone on me. That was 1976. With, wow. You know, and that's when I met Elvis. I went through your IMDb. Holy shit, have you produced a lot of movies. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of marijuana, man. <laughs> a lot of getting fucked up, Jack. <laughs> you made so many movies, man. Yeah, over 100. That's incredible. That's incredible. Yeah, because I always was a storyteller. And as a kid, I, was not, I didn't always tell the truth, but they were my stories. My life became my story. My stories became my life. The things that I'm doing today are things that I said I would do. I wanted to be, I wanted, I was in love with Ali. I made Ali the life story of I was in love with Presley. I wanted him to be in Starsborn. We flew up to Vegas, and we met with him. And uh, he was so fat he couldn't sit in a chair. He was about 100 pounds overweight. Wow. And he said, I got a problem, man. I got a problem. I said, what's your problem? He said, I'm having a fight with my girlfriend. And I said, what does that mean? He said, well, she's flying in my 747 for two hours. I haven't decided whether to let her, let her land or not. <laughs> So, yeah, so I've been lucky. I've been a really blessed, lucky guy. Did you meet Elvis when he was doing karate? Uh, yeah. So that was when he was uh, Ed Parker's No, 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 student? no, no. I met him once when he was uh, really fat. And uh, Colonel Parker called me and said he wants to do the movie, but you can't be a part of it. So I called, because I was a producer, I created it, I wrote it, I, 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 it was my thing, man, I was obsessed with this movie. And uh, the love story was me and Barbara, we copied it, and Barbara said, fuck him, I said, fuck you, and so he, he didn't do it. And then later, wow. after the movie, Priscilla Presley called me and said to me, I gotta tell you, I, he wanted to see it on opening day, and he did, and he cried that he didn't do it, because I would have got to the other side of Elvis. I would have got to the pain. I would have got to the feelings. I would have got past the other thing. It would have mm. been gigantic because I saw that in him. I could feel the pain in him. So when when you met him, it was towards the end then? Like th yes. this time? Towards the end. Did you watch the film, the new one, the new Elvis movie? Fantastic. It's amazing, amazing. right? Yes, because they did it differently. Yeah, they, they did, did it a completely job. different take. It was amazing. The way the just the way it was edited and put together with all the you know the things in between the scenes, it was incredible. Yeah, it was so good. But it's like that story is such a unique story because there had never been a person like him before that was that famous ever. Ever. He it's still like, gives me chills, man. Michael Jackson was like the next one, yeah, right? He'd he never been someone like him either. Michael Jackson and I, uh, um, I went to him and I, when I was doing Star is Born, I mean uh, Batman, and I had Prince to do the music, and I wanted Michael to do the warring theme, so it was like a fight. So Michael Jackson plays, no thank you, Michael Jackson plays... Uh, you know, Batman, the, the guy, and Prince plays the Joker, Jack Nicholson. But Michael backed out. We became friends. He took me to his house. He showed me Thriller. And uh, he said, well, I, so I show him this is because you did American Werewolf in London, and I copied you to do Thriller. Wow. 